Hello, my name is Kimberly Sanders, and I am the Senior IT Help Desk Agent here at Bryan College. Today, we're going to get started with the SRT Real-Time Writer. We are going to set either a 200 or 400 SRT Series Writer within Case Catalyst. So first, to get started, we want to address the USB to Serial Adapter. The USB to Serial Adapter is a device that will need to be installed separately from the Case Catalyst. It will attach from your computer to your writer. So you first want to take the disk that was included in your package. And with that disk, you want to just put it within your drive and then just go ahead and run the installation wizard. Now it is very important that you do not have this device connected when you're installing the software. Once you've installed the software, simply reboot your system and once you're up and running again, go ahead and connect the device and then open up Case Catalyst. Now it is very important that once you're in Case Catalyst that you make sure to select the appropriate user. You may have one or many users within the Case Catalyst program, but it is very important that you get in the habit of selecting your user and double clicking it to get started. So now that we've opened up our Case Catalyst user here, we'll go ahead and click on Translate so we can set our translate options. Now our steno source should be changed from file to writer. The output to should be changed from none to steno keys. And remember setting should be selected. In the lower left hand corner, you want to click on options and then go up to the top to real time where you'll select a real time writer as a stentura. Now next you will need to select the applicable COM port. Now once I go over here to COM3, as you can see there are multiple COM numbers available. So it is very important that you select the correct COM number. The way that we'll look up our COM number and verify that our device is installed properly is by going to our device manager. We'll do so by clicking on start, right clicking computer, and clicking properties. After you've done so, you'll click device manager and then click yes on the user account control message which may or may not pop up. Now with that you want to scroll down to the section entitled ports common LPT and click the arrow in front of that section. There you should see your USB serial port listed or USB serial bridge it will have USB or serial within the title. And within the parentheses, you will see the applicable COM number. So as we can see here, I'm located on COM 30. Now should this device have not installed properly, I would receive a yellow icon in the front and this would be listed under unknown devices, which will let me know that I would need to unplug the device and then run the installation wizard once more. So that way I can ensure that it's installed. Now I can also right click that device and click update driver software and then search automatically for the updated driver software as well. Both methods will load the software for you. So now that we've verified the COM number, we can go ahead and close the device manager and system properties. And back in the translate options, we'll select COM30 which was my applicable COM port. So I'll click apply and then OK. Next I'll go ahead and create a practice file and we'll test out our settings. Now it is very important that at this point you make sure that you have your case catalyst on, the writers connected, and the writers also powered on. So normally you would either receive a stroke a key to begin writing message or you'll just see your cursor blinking as my cursor is blinking here in the top row. So next I will go ahead and just test out my writer. And as you can see I can write with the writer. This here concludes our session with getting started with the Case Catalyst writer. Now to cl close out the file We'll simply click the small black X in the upper right hand corner. And if you notice, 
under Edited By, it lets you know exactly where it saves the file. So it's very important that once you're done with your file, small black X, upper right hand corner, make note of where the file is being stored, and then either save your changes, or if it is a practice, click No so you do not save the changes. Now we have verified that we have our writer installed, and if you have any further questions, comments, or concerns, you can always send them to us via email at helpdesk at bryancollege.edu or visit our website which is bryancollegehelpdesk.com where you can find this and many more helpful guides under the court reporting section.